Astronomers gave it the label 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever seen. At first, it was cataloged as a comet, another icy body from beyond the solar system wandering close to our star. But the deeper scientists looked, the less it resembled anything natural. Its mass is staggering, its chemistry strange, its path unstable. The James Webb Space Telescope recorded a thermal heartbeat every four hours, while radio observatories detected bursts that no comet should produce. And now its course is bending toward Mars. The question can no longer be dismissed as fringe speculation. What if 3i Atlas isn't a comet at all? What if it is something else entirely, a vessel from the stars moving with purpose across our solar system? In July of 2025, survey telescopes in Chile and Hawaii flagged a faint, fast-moving point of light. The object was tearing across the sky at nearly 150,000 miles per hour, a speed too high to be captured by the sun's gravity. That velocity alone marked it as interstellar, an uninvited visitor from beyond. The designation came quickly, 3i Atlas. 3i meaning the third interstellar object ever confirmed after Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. At first, its behavior seemed familiar. As it neared the inner solar system, its brightness increased, a sign of activity. Yet almost immediately, the anomalies began stacking up. Most comets brighten unevenly, their icy crusts venting gas in chaotic bursts that create flickers and tails. 3i Atlas did not. Its brightness rose steadily and stayed flat, three times higher than any prediction with no tail. Telescopes expected a plume of vapor trailing behind it, but instead they saw a compact glow wrapped in a teardrop-shaped cocoon, as though the object was shielded or shrouded. Infrared scans revealed a centralized heat source deep inside, not scattered across the surface. Every four hours, the glow pulsed, brightening and fading in a rhythm that observers described as a heartbeat. This pulse was not random, it held precise intervals, unwavering through days of observations. At the same time, radio observatories detected a narrow band burst repeating with the same cadence. A pulse in heat and a pulse in radio, both tied to the same clock. Plasma interactions with the solar wind can cause noise, but never with this kind of mechanical regularity. For the first time, astronomers had to grapple with the possibility that 3i Atlas was not merely behaving like a comet, it was behaving like something organized. The mystery deepened when scientists calculated its mass. Based on brightness and motion, 3i Atlas weighs in at more than 33 billion tons, that is simply too heavy for a typical comet nucleus of its size, and its chemistry adds another layer of strangeness. Most comets in our solar system are dominated by water ice. This one, by contrast, is saturated with carbon dioxide, showing a CO2 to water ratio of nearly 8 to 1. No other comet cataloged has displayed such an imbalance. That raises difficult questions. Was this object formed in some radically different planetary system, or is its composition the result of deliberate construction, an arrangement of materials selected for some purpose? By mid-August, the anomalies reached a breaking point. The James Webb Space Telescope logged a sudden flare, a 40% surge in brightness across thermal and visible bands. At the same moment, orbital data showed that 3i Atlas shifted trajectory. It was not a random drift caused by uneven venting, but a sharp course change, bending closer to the ecliptic plane. The timing was too exact to be dismissed. Something inside had powered up and the object had altered its path. For centuries, comets have been feared as omens. Ancient Chinese astronomers recorded broom stars in their bamboo annals, interpreting them as warnings of famine or political upheaval. Medieval Europeans stitched comets into tapestries as fiery swords foreshadowing conquest. Today, the fear is less mystical, but no less real. When an object from another star system changes course in our solar system, modern science struggles to explain it. Outgassing to nudge a comet, yes, but not with this precision, and not at this distance from the sun. 
By late August, spectroscopic studies revealed something more unsettling. The surface reflected light in ways consistent with metallic alloys, some resembling rare earth elements used in advanced manufacturing. A few absorption features even hinted at materials theorized in physics journals but never observed in nature, exotic quantum structures. Was this coincidence, a quirk of interstellar chemistry, or was it evidence of fabrication, of something shaped rather than born? Then came the most alarming projection. Updated models showed that the altered trajectory of 3i Atlas placed it on an intercept with Mars. Not Earth, at least not yet, but Mars. Its perihelion, the closest point to the Sun, would come near the red planet in late October. If it passes close by, it will be humanity's first chance to study an interstellar visitor up close. But if it collides, the event could be catastrophic for Mars, or transformative, depending on what this object truly is. Speculation erupted. One camp clings to natural explanations. Perhaps its interior is riddled with chambers of exotic ices that expand and contract in cycles, producing both the thermal pulse and the radio burst. Perhaps its course changes are the product of jets firing from beneath its surface, angled just so. In this scenario, 3i Atlas is still a comet, albeit the strangest comet ever seen. The other camp leans toward a darker, more extraordinary hypothesis. The coordination of heat and radio, the metallic alloys, the deliberate change in trajectory, these are not the signatures of a wandering chunk of ice. These are the fingerprints of intention, a vessel, silent and ancient, now on approach to Mars. The idea may sound sensational, but history itself lends weight to it. Humanity has been here before, staring at something in the sky that does not fit our categories, only to argue endlessly about what it really means. In 2017, the first interstellar object ever recorded, Oumuamua, swept through the solar system like a shard of mystery. It was elongated, almost cigar-like, tumbling end over end. Unlike a comet, it left behind no glowing tail, no obvious venting of ice. And yet, it accelerated as though pushed by an invisible hand. Scientists scrambled for explanations. Perhaps it was venting hydrogen. Perhaps thin sheets of material were being blown by solar radiation. But each hypothesis carried cracks, gaps, and assumptions stretched thin. Into that debate stepped Avi Loeb, a Harvard astronomer with enough authority to ignite global controversy. He argued openly that Oumuamua could have been a probe, a fragment of alien technology drifting into our neighborhood. Many dismissed the claim as too bold, but the precedent was set. When interstellar objects behave unlike anything we know, speculation is no longer fringe, it is inevitable. That precedent now hangs over 3i Atlas like a shadow. If one visitor was strange, perhaps an outlier, what are we to think when another appears with anomalies even harder to dismiss? The heartbeat like pulses, the bursts of radio, the sharp trajectory shifts, the metallic reflections, each one would be strange on its own. Together, they sketch a portrait that feels less like nature's chaos and more like deliberate function. And if function, then purpose. That is where the vessel hypothesis emerges, forcing humanity to ask questions it has never confronted outside the pages of science fiction. If it is truly a craft, then why is it here? Is this exploration, a survey probe dispatched across the void to catalog worlds and atmospheres? Is it observation, a machine left to silently watch, sending back reports to a civilization far older than ours? Is it colonization? The opening move in a process that unfolds over centuries, perhaps millennia, seeding distant systems with machines or biology? Or is it derelict, the ghost of a ship abandoned to time, drifting endlessly, its systems running on autopilot long after its makers are gone? The possibility is as haunting as it is profound. If it is a ghost ship, it tells us not just that life exists elsewhere, but that civilizations can fall leaving relics scattered across the stars. If it is active, then it suggests intention, and intention implies decision. What will it choose to do when it nears Mars?
Mars itself is the stage upon which this drama takes form, and the symbolism could not be sharper. For decades, humanity has pointed its ambitions at the Red Planet. Rovers crawl across its dusty plains, digging into soil and rock for traces of water and organics. Every major space agency has plans, distant or near-term, to land humans there, to transform Mars from a world of myth into one of habitation. To see an interstellar visitor curve its path toward that same planet feels uncanny, almost mythic. In the ancient imagination, comets were omens. In today's imagination, Mars is destiny. If 3i Atlas is truly a vessel, then its approach to Mars cannot be dismissed as coincidence. It is as if, in the very moment humanity reaches outward, something else reaches inward, converging on the same target. And yet, amid all the speculation, one reality stands firm. Multiple observatories, NASA's assets, ESA's instruments, the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, and a network of ground-based arrays stretching from South America to Europe have all recorded the same anomalies. These are not the glitches of one machine, nor the noise of one data set. The thermal heartbeat is confirmed. The radio burst is confirmed. The orbital deviation is confirmed. The extraordinary mass estimate is confirmed. No single calibration error can explain all of these at once. Taken together, they demand attention. They form a pattern that cannot be ignored, whether one chooses a natural interpretation or an engineered one. The cautious approach is to continue watching. Observatories are now being retasked at a scale rarely seen outside of planetary defense exercises. Every instrument that can see into the relevant bands is pointed at the visitor. Data pipelines are tightening cross-checked in near real time to avoid false leads. Planetary defense offices, normally concerned with asteroid impact scenarios, are running simulations to model what happens if an object of this mass were to fragment near Mars. But time is painfully short. 3i Atlas is moving fast, and in only weeks it will pass its closest approach to the Red Planet. Interstellar opportunities like this do not come once in a generation. They come once in centuries, if not millennia. Still, beyond the cautious voices of institutional science, the whispers grow louder. Some theorists suggest the synchronized pulses are not accidents, but signals. A beacon, perhaps, meant to be noticed by whoever is watching. The coincidence of a thermal beat and a radio burst in lockstep strains the limits of natural explanation. If that is so, then the change in trajectory may not be random venting, but deliberate steering. In that light, Mars looks less like a target of chance, and more like a rendezvous point chosen with intent. If true, then we are not simply observers of a cosmic phenomenon, we are participants in an unfolding encounter. The thought chills even the most rational mind. Imagine a vessel, silent and immense, closing in on Mars with every passing hour. If it is natural, it will break apart or sail past, leaving scientists with puzzles and data, but little else. If it is more than natural, then history itself may split at the moment of arrival. Before 3i Atlas, humanity speculated about life beyond Earth. After 3i Atlas, the question may be answered not with a whisper, but with an undeniable presence. The transition from wondering if we are alone to confronting the fact that we are not is a boundary unlike any other in human history. It is not simply a scientific discovery, it is a civilizational threshold. And so the world waits. Scientists scramble to explain what cannot yet be explained. Governments weigh what can and cannot be shared. Citizens refresh their feeds for the latest anomaly, the newest piece of evidence. Above it all, 3i Atlas continues its steady approach, pulsing in heat and radio like a heartbeat across the void. A comet or a vessel, a natural wanderer or a constructed ship. The difference is everything. For now, the data does not decide, but the trajectory is clear. Mars lies ahead, and with it, perhaps, an answer.